and welcome back to the channel or if it's your first time welcome especially I'm Sally I'm so glad you stopped by today I'm filming another what I eat in a day video pro metabolic style but I'm throwing a twist in there and I'm going to be revealing my macros or actually tracking my macros for the day which is something that you're not going to see too much in the pro metabolic world because it's very big on kind of stepping away from the image focused culture around diet which is an awesome thing however um Especially if you're just starting out, there can be a lot of uncertainty as to how much you're actually eating, should be eating, and all that aside, there are times and places where it does make sense to track your macros and can be a very helpful tool if you need to gain weight um, but want to gain muscle, if you are actually needing to lose weight, or just kind of want to make sure you're getting enough protein in your diet. So bottom line is I'm going to take you through my day, show you what I eat. I'm like all frazzled right now because I just got whack from work and I am so hungry. Um, even though I had a good snack beforehand, that's what you saw, or a good like first breakfast. I had an orange, I had some of my goat's milk Gouda cheese, and then I had some of my homemade gelatin gummies. I also put collagen in my coffee. So I had about 350 calories worth of food before working out, which isn't a ton, but to get in my body at 4.30 a.m. still feels like a lot. Um, anyways, I'm back now and quite hungry, so I'm about to eat my breakfast. I'll show you it in a second. It looks like a mess because I was getting impatient with my eggs. Um, but I'm having some eggs, a little bit of sausage, some goat cheese, and some crackers. A very haphazard breakfast, but it's what I wanted. So that's what we're doing. All right, y'all, here is my second breakfast. I have two eggs, some andouille sausage, some crackers, and then this blueberry vanilla goat cheese, which sounds random, but it is so delicious. I'm gonna pop my macros for this meal up here on the screen so you can see but at the end of the video I'm also going to go over everything and I'll include at that time um the macros from my first breakfast so to say I do just want to say though it's just after 10 a.m and I have already had over 800 calories and like 57 grams of protein so hello <laughs> I'm definitely getting a good amount of food and calories in my body early in the day so I am set up to be well fueled and powered and not get super anxious blood sugar out of balance moving forwards i'm gonna eat because clearly i need to um maybe have some coffee as well like i think i said but we need to we need to get some food in there first i'll see you later bye Okay, y'all, it's a little bit later, and clearly I have been fed. Um, <laughs> feeling a lot better. I got ready. I got my kitchen clean, which <laughs> Samuel's over here crunching very aggressively in the background. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, anyways, feeling a lot better now. I made the wise decision and decided to wait on another coffee, and you just saw me have my adrenal cocktail, I say as I hold up my empty glass. But the reason you have adrenal cocktails, if you're unfamiliar with the concept, it is part orange juice, part coconut water, and then some sea salt. And that's kind of like a whole food supplementation of potassium and sodium, and then of course vitamin C, whole food vitamin C, which is coming from that orange juice, which potassium and sodium are two macro minerals that your body needs. and it can be really beneficial to get them through adrenal cocktails. If you want more information on why specifically I'm incorporating different foods into my diet, I'm gonna link the last What I Eat in a Day video I did because that was more the focus of that video um, as well as a few other videos I've done. Anyways, I'll direct you to those, but today I'm gonna move forwards with my lunch. This might be the least glamorous thing you're gonna see on the internet today, but for lunch, we got some chicken nuggets. Um, 
these aren't just any chicken nuggets, so they are the best ones. They taste like the Chick-fil-A like Chick chicken nuggets, but a little bit less sweet. Um, I want to show y'all because I think it's a great asset to have. Just going in my freezer. They are the Just Bear. Wait, hold on. There we go. The Just Bear lightly breaded chicken breast chunks. Um, but they are very clean ingredients. Literally just pieces of chicken that's breaded and when talking about macros we really love these because they're pretty balanced they have for three ounces you get six grams of fat it's nine grams of carbs and then 16 grams of protein so that's pretty awesome if you ask me i have two servings of those and then i also have i'll just show you my food here um if i can get the camera out i have two servings of those chicken nuggets I have some honey, which is my favorite way to eat chicken nuggets. Sounds weird, but it's delicious. And then some ketchup. We get the kind from Trader Joe's because again, it's nicer all around. There's one thing that I forgot to say um, about these, which I know a lot of you might be concerned about PUFAs, or if you don't know what those are, polyunsaturated fatty acids um, being unstable in the body essentially. And that's fair. These definitely do have some like vegetable oil but it's not something that we're eating every day. It's just something we have on hand in a pinch for lunch. And because they have relatively little fat in them, that indicates <laughs> it's staying in the video too. <laughs> I'm not editing that out. Um, because they have a relative... <laughs> Ooh, okay, because they have a relatively low amount of fat in them or small amount of fat, I'm not concerned with there being a ton of vegetable oil in there and it's evident that they are pretty lightly fried so that's it okay I added a scoop of collagen to my coffee to help deliver a little protein to my body with the caffeine. And had I not just had lunch, I also would have made sure to have some carbohydrates and some fat of some kind with my caffeine as well. But I feel totally fine about it given I just ate it. Point being, if you pair a carbohydrate, a protein, and a fat with your caffeine intake, it's gonna help prevent the cortisol spikes and blood sugar insanity that can ensue and lead to anxiety, jitters, all of that stuff down the road. Of course, that doesn't mean we need to drink five cups of coffee today, but within moderation, one to two cups in the appropriate context can be totally fine and even beneficial to your health as long as you're doing it right. seasoning down the drain. It is dinner time, finally, thank goodness. We just made a very simple dinner tonight. It is beef uh, seasoned with, I don't even know what, um, cauliflower, so there's some rice underneath, and then sauerkraut. I would say this is probably about 50 to 55 grams of protein altogether. So 
I have no idea. I tracked it, but I don't remember exactly how many carbs are in here and how much fat. But what I'm going to do is tomorrow or in the next day or so, I'm going to sit down with my fitness pal where I tracked everything and go through, kind of show you the breakdown of my macros and talk a little bit more about it. But for now, I'm going to enjoy this. It's about six o'clock now and it's a lot of food. So I'm probably going to have part of it right now and part of it closer to bedtime. If I end up eating anything else, I will, I will show you but I kind of doubt it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful night, although you're gonna see me in like a second. It's a few days later, but I just wanna go over the sum of my calorie and macro intake for the day that I recorded the rest of this video. That was Thursday, April 22nd. And I have it pulled up here on my fitness pal on my phone where I kept track of everything. I'm gonna pop that up in one corner of the screen so y'all can see exactly what I'm looking at. But at the top here, you can see I had a total of 2,560 calories. That just surpasses my goal of 2,500 which I noted earlier in the video, but I'll note again here, that tends to be my baseline. I know consistently, given how active I am, I need to eat at least 2,500 calories, but if I am working out extensively beyond that, I generally need to supplement with a little bit more. On this day, it fell somewhere in the middle, so I probably could have eaten a little bit more, but I feel good knowing that I just gently surpassed, we'll say 2,500. In terms of how it broke down, I really just divided this into four meals, even though I had snacks in between. The main thing here I want to point out is that first thing in the morning, I had 347 calories, even though I had to wake up on this particular day at 4.30 in the morning to go to work. It is so hard sometimes to get myself to eat at that time, but I'd say one of the big areas that pro-metabolic eating differs from intuitive eating is when it comes to sometimes eating when you're not hungry, especially as you're in the process of getting your hormones and your blood sugar more balanced, more in line overall. It's very important for me to eat before I am working or working out, which my job involves me working out a lot of the time. I'm a fitness trainer, so needed to get that in my system. And then I immediately came back and had a rather substantial second meal. I don't know, 470 calories. I'd say that's a moderate second meal. <laughs> But let's go down to the bottom here. I'm gonna hit nutrition, and here we can see a breakdown of my macros. I had 45% 45, 45 of my calories from carbohydrates, 25% from protein, and 30% from fat. So that comes out to a total of 288 grams of carbs, 84 fat, and 160, pro 160 protein. When I am tracking anything, uh, or just on a day-to-day -day basis, I suppose, what I mainly pay attention to is going to be my protein intake because I tend to have a pretty good intuitive sense of how much carbohydrates I need, how many, and how much fat I need, but it is really difficult for me to get enough protein in my diet if I am not being super mindful of it. And I will note 160 grams is pretty high. I had more than I needed to on this particular day, but I am very active. I have a consistent weight room routine, and so I am looking to you know, build a little bit of muscle, and in order to do that, it is optimal that I have more protein than some people. However, 160 is still more than I need, <laughs> so uh, we'll just say extra credit for this particular day. I don't generally worry too much about fat, 84 grams, 30% is maybe a little bit more than some people feel comfortable um, or feel optimal getting in a day, but I have honestly found that as long as it's not getting in the way of my carbohydrate intake, I feel better on a diet that is a little bit higher fat because actually that boosts my satiety and um, means I don't have to eat so much to get the right number of calories and that I end up having a stomach ache or feeling barfy we'll say in one way or another that's really it though that's the long and short of it i hope that this is helpful to you obviously it's not a prescription please never take this kind of thing as medical advice whenever you are starting kind of a new diet i highly encourage you number one do your own research number two talk to a trusted healthcare professional but i just want to show through here that you can track your macros and eat pro-metabolically, and that can actually work really well together. If you have certain fitness goals, 
to make sure you're not depriving yourself. Make sure you're balancing things out in a way that's actually going to be conducive to your overall health and well-being. And then on the other hand, even if you're not looking to track your macros, just kind of give you an idea, a little bit of context for in that way how the pro-metabolic diet, uh, which is a broad term, I realize, but how it can, how it can look. I'm gonna stop talking now because we're at the point where I'm rambling, except to say, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. It really, really helps me out. And I make one new video, occasionally two, every week on holistic wellness, intentional living, and some other fun stuff sprinkled in there every once in a while. But I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, y'all.